And as you prepare your Thanksgiving meals, there are thousands of farm workers working from dusk to dawn to ensure you have the food you need. It's a hard job, as children of those farm workers explain. They just respect mom because um, she comes home very late, she's tired, so let's just clean the house. 23 ABC's Vanya Patino sat down with this local young boy to talk about his win in a national essay uh, contest about being a child of farm workers. Working all day in fields like these, coming home tired, sometimes with the dirt still on their hands. Farm workers go home and still manage to take care of their children who see all their sacrifices. I am proud of my mom for being able to survive working under the hot sun day in. And they out. At 10 years old, Edwin Juarez writes like he's lived a couple of decades. But it's not years, rather experiences that make him so wise. She eats whatever she finds in the fridge, and if there's something I like, she leaves it for me and my sibling. Juarez took those experiences and turned him into a love letter to his mother. Sweat that drops down from my mother's brow after a long day in the field, I am clear that. The land opportunity comes with a heavy price. A price he understands. I said price because it's hard work. I'm paying a price just to come here. And what he turned in for the Children in the Fields campaign essay and art contest is also therapeutic for him. Because I can express my feelings, I can say all about my life. What is placed second in a national contest for his writing? It's a big feat since he migrated to the U.S. just a couple years ago, not knowing a lick of English. I had two friends that they weren't really friends. They kept laughing at me that I didn't know English. So when I, I said I want to be a writer, they just laughed at me. I feel so sad. This essay proving them wrong, but still, Juarez now has his eyes set on a different path. When I I grow up, I just want to make something that helps people that doesn't have hands, legs, or something to help them um, just feel normal. They don't feel like excluded. He tells me he has his sights set on Cal Poly Slow, and having met hard work at a very young age, he knows this is just the beginning. I'm grateful for what my mom gives me. I thank God for my mom and how good she is. I will show the world that Mexicans and everyone can be big in this world. So, si se puede, yes, we can. Juarez also says he is working towards a career so that he can help his mom not have to work in the fields anymore. You can find his full essay on our website, turn to 23com In Bakersfield, Bonnie Patino, 23ABC News, connecting you.